dear lord, what was that Jujutsu Kaisen versus Bochi the Rock opinion? But goddamn, it was spicy. We got another one. This one is JJK versus Made in Abyss from Trash Taste Highlights. Let's get it. All Let's right. go round two now. We're in the top Jesus, eight. How long have you been recording for? Made in Abyss over Code Geass. JJK over Bochi the Rock. HXH over Clanad. Gurren Logon over Mob Psycho. Wow. Is that just nostalgia kicking in? I haven't seen it. I, I've heard that it's a legendary series, but over Mob Psycho, wow. Vinland Saga over Mushoku Tensei, based. Full Metal Alchemist over Furiden. My anime list is going to be mad about this. One Piece over JoJo's. Attack on Titan over Steins Gate. Yeah, I, I think most of these make sense. Cool. Well, right. I think it'll be a lot easier to yeah, go. It'll, be, it'll be a lot easier. Because we won't have to... Okay. Run by, by the way, we, we plan to do multiple uh, anime brackets. Um, looks like we're going to have time to only do one. Nah. Thanks, we thanks to way our... too heated. That's what our fucking Japanese. Uh, okay. Um, Where should we start? Let's get more heated. Again. Let's on. go to bottom again. All right, Jujutsu Kaisen versus Made in Abyss. Uh, it's Made in Abyss. What? <laughs> What? It's, it's made in abyss. It's made in abyss. What? It's yeah. made in abyss. It's made in abyss. No! Jujutsu Kaisen versus Made in Abyss. Made in Abyss is beautiful, man. It's also wicked. It's a great story. That's a hard one, man. Oh! It's made in it's abyss. It's made in abyss. Come on, man. <laughs> you are getting blinded by the goaded animation. No, no. It's made in abyss. You, you, you have, you have got the- I mean, Made in Abyss is pretty good in animations too, but JJK fight scenes, obviously. But like- in terms of like an overall story, it's gotta be made in the abyss, though, right? It's it. Jujutsu Kaisen is like turn brain off, unga bunga fighting, hype shit happening. I love Battle Shonen. Made in the abyss. I don't want to spoil. It gets really fucked up, and like the mysteries of the abyss and the lower you get, and all this different shit. It's it's really really compelling, and these different floors, different zones, it's so different. Like. I have to go with Nate in the Abyss, I think. You've got the brain rot. You've got the You've brain got rot. You've got the brain rot. Uh, yeah, it's what the mapper employees would have wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me let me let me ask you. How highly do you how highly do you actually rate Jujutsu Kaisen compared to like the other shonens that you've seen <laughs> out there? Um and compared to other shonens, to be fair, I think JJK is like really really high tier. Absolutely. Take away the whole thing of like, oh, I, you know, it's because the community is goaded or the memes are goaded. Take all of that away. Just purely focus on the show. You know, this every time we've been bringing up this one's a Jujutsu Kaisen, I just keep thinking of that fucking image of Peter Griffin drawn as Gojo saying, nah, I'd wait. <laughs> I don't know. My brain is actually irre irreparably damaged. You got the brain rot, bro. <laughs> JJK memes are actually so dank. I love it. Um, I'm irreparable, irreparable. I can't even English. I'm irreparably damaged. Yeah, I'm, I can't think. Yeah. Listen, no, I know. I know that you guys think my judgment is being clouded by the amazing animation. And it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. but, but I would like to remind you mm -hmm. that it is that goaded <laughs> and that fun to watch. For sure. And at the end of the day, right, the most important thing is fun to watch. Just because Made in Abyss has an amazing story and keeps the audience engaged with the mysteries of the floor and how grotesque it can be, doesn't, it, it doesn't mean like that's better than Jujutsu Kaisen for some people, you know? People have different value systems, and that's what ultimately forms their opinion on whether one series is better or not. Like, clearly Connor, like, appreciates the hype animations in the battles more than Made in Abyss, what it's trying to say. So, I, I, I could totally understand. We have never had such visual cocaine stimulation in human history. Demon Slayer. Cap. No. Not Demon even. I way actually... Okay, that's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. If you, if you think that Jujutsu Kaisen animation is better than Demon Slayer animation, like you're, you're I don't know. That, that, that's, you're crazy. Watching the two? Nah. You're insane. I don't think Demon Slayer you're, you're is You're really insane. Good. You're insane. I, I, think, I, think, I think they're on par, to be honest. I think in terms of like... When he started kicking those bunnies, that was it for me. I was like, this. <laughs> he as in that was uh, Toji, I think, right? Yeah, Toji versus uh, uh, fucking uh, his son, right? So <laughs> the bunny animation, that was a pretty cool scene. It was. This is life changing. I've not. <laughs> I, I have, yeah, I have this not. Scene, this scene, this scene. I, have not. I, when it, I couldn't believe that. I was like, they did not need to go there. I'm I, I gooning like, while listening to this free jazz <laughs> soundtrack. <laughs> I mean, I mean <laughs> what I say is in terms of like, a visual spectacle. Mm. I think that's um, 
both, in, in my humble opinion, both Demon mm -hmm. Slayer and Jujutsu Kaisen are about the same level. It's season no. two. No. Season two. At worst, it's about the same. At best, Demon Slayer is better than JJK. Like, genuinely, if you think JJK animation is extremely better than Ufotable as Demon Slayer, I don't know. I, I, I just don't think so. I, like, it's got to be minimum tied, right? But I'm going to give the edge to Ufotable. Two of Jujutsu Kaisen oh. may have had more episodes mm. in a row. I will, mm. I will like, concede no. to that. But the big difference is that Demon Slayer has, like, one style. One, one kind of, like, mm. one kind of, like, visual style. And it is very aesthetic. Mm. It's, like, a cool painting style. Mm. Um, Jujutsu Kaisen is just cool. It's just way cooler. It's like the cool. It's like Daniel and the cooler Daniel. You know. <laughs> yeah. You know. Jujutsu Kaisen has the fucking energy. It has <laughs> the Daniel? swag, as you call it. And some of the fights have so much variety in them. Yeah. And different styles. Um. Maybe I'm too dumb to recognize specific patterns and animations, but you foldable really one trick ponies for Demon Slayer. The argument right now is Demon Slayer is amazing, but they do one thing amazing. Whatever it gets said, but JJK, nah, they multitask. They have, they do many things amazing. Uh, I'm not uh, educated enough to give an opinion on that. Mm. Jesus Kaisen definitely has the swag. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. the main in abyss, <clears throat> main in abyss, just is an experience that is unlike many other, if not any other Agreed. anime that I've Agreed. seen. Like it is so incredibly dark. Yep. Uh, and so potent when it comes to that kind of emotion like that feeling of like hope i like hopelessness right hopelessness that you yes the despair like bro made in abyss the story like i i think in season two i don't want to spoil anything but in season one i think episode 10 is the moment where things change right because like made in abyss season one everyone thinks like oh cute kids kevin penkin soundtrack very atmospheric the vibes are there cool exploration episode 10 hit oh fuck Oh my god, what oh, oh my god. And then and then you know what happens later on. And, and then there's the whole movie with Bone Drood and the whole, you know, the elevator fucking simulation test that he was doing and what that causes to people put in the elevator, right? And then the fucking season two? What what not season two, was it season three? I forget. I think it's season two, right? The the Gordon Ramsay arc? Remember the soup? Remember the food? Like the way that Made in the Abyss is able to tell these fucked up stories where I'm like, this can't be real. Of course it's not real. But I'm like, it is like beyond fucked up. And that is so compelling when watching Made in the Abyss. It's just, you're watching this dark fantasy in, like, um, just like fold in front of you and you're like, wow, I, everything is so grotesque, but I can't keep watching it. Like, I know, sorry. I can't keep my eyes away from it. JJK, it's fun. But Made in the Abyss... I can't say that it's just cinema, but I just value Made in Abyss's storytelling more than JJK. You can feel uh, through the characters, yeah, and it just gave me more of an emotional impact. Yeah, true. Um, in terms of just pure story, like the movie is fucking incredible. Granted, I never cried for Made in Abyss, but in JJK season two, I cried for a certain somebody. What does that say? Nah, I, I, I don't think a crying just means that it's better, but like, they're both great. It's just Made in the Abyss's story I value more. Incredible for Made in the Abyss. Yeah, in terms of visual spectacle, Jujutsu Kaisen solos most of these. Pretty yeah. much everything yeah, on the sure. list. <laughs> in terms of like visual spectacle. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but visual spectacle and animation is honestly like the lowest parameter of judgment, judging if an anime is good or not, to be honest. Like, I care about the storytelling, I care about the soundtracks and the voice acting and the overall. I don't know, experience that I'm set in. The animation is just a bonus. Of course, I love good animation, but if there has a good story, that's enough for me. Um, in terms of anything else, that's about it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Why does... Okay, I, I think this is a, an unfortunate problem where Jujutsu Kaisen has such good, strong visuals that everyone just thinks that there is just absolutely nothing else about the show that's good. And I think that's not... Okay. All right. What what else is good about Jujutsu Kaisen? Yeah, there's a there's a huge crazy plot. Tell me about it. Tell me about it, Connor. Fair. Like I think the show is actually like decent. Yeah. Like, no, it's no, good. it's not. No. But like, everyone acts like it's like like Unga Bunga the Slayer. story is much better than Demon Slayer. And yeah.
Yeah, like, like, what's the plot of Demon Slayer? Kill Muzan, right? I just care about <laughs> Upper Six versus Hashiras. That's all I care about. There is no plot. The reason why I literally quit Demon Slayer before even starting, I was a big Demon Slayer hater, by the way. Season one, I was like, this is the most mid intro episode one. I'm like, oh, wow, main character goes somewhere, entire family dead by demons. Wow, okay. Go to Demon Slayer school, okay. But like, the fights are what carries her, right? And I am so down with that. JJK for sure. I think tries to portray a more of a plot than Demon Slayer because like JJK's plot and like if you guys are genuinely asking what plot for JJK you're not fucking watching the anime the whole debacle right now the debate is like right now it's it's all about why do curses exist because of negative emotions represented by humans and in season two you saw how Ghetto went the whole mentality of you know what people wouldn't have to suffer if these monkeys didn't fucking exist so one side is going the extreme route of we need to call all the humans so that only, you know, sorcerers can exist and, you know, these curses won't, you know, fuck people over. Or is there a way to, you know, go, go against that, right? There's actually a deeper plot than you actually think so, but again, Made in the Abyss, like, that, that easy clears. If you're telling about a story, like, Made in the Abyss easy clears. Demon Slayer is so fucking how. boring. How? I'm not fucking falling asleep every goddamn episode. <laughs> because they're fighting! Okay, I, I, Demon Slayer's story is, it's pretty weak, but like, I'm not falling asleep because these fights are fucking amazing. Every episode. Thank God Connor. for that. Thank God for I'm, that. I'm, I'm, I'm asking from a story perspective, and what do you think makes it better than uh Demon Well, I, I, I don't, okay, listen, I'm-, I'm Fisco boom. I'm, I'm not good at this whole talking thing. No, I, when-, when It's the simple, it's simple. When in doubt, Connor just has to go back to that one argument he used against Bochi, yeah? But can Tanjiro use domain expansion? I didn't fucking think so. There's downtime in Jutsu Kaisen, which, you know, is in the second season was rare. There um, was no downtime. Yeah, there there was, is never any downtime. Yeah, but the only downtime we had is when that girl was ha uh, sleeping with her little brother, which is kind of weird to include the that. Fuck? I felt like that was not... <laughs> I felt like that was not necessary. Yeah, uh, yeah. did feel like that was a little strange. Yeah. Uh, that was some kind of domain expansion I didn't anticipate. Um, <laughs> They're expanding something yeah. else. Yeah, something well, uh, something got a domain expanded. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I generally didn't mind when the characters were just hanging out and doing their own thing because the characters felt strong enough to be able to carry themselves and be interesting outside of the fighting. I think it's Oomst. almost it's almost. Hmm? Oomst. I, I I genuinely like all the characters in Jujutsu really? Kaisen. Yeah, I did. Yeah, even like slice of life moments for sure. I think that slice of life moments. If you can enjoy a slice of life moment in an anime for especially like a battle shonen, that means like you're really immersed in this show. Or like even just like random failure episodes for animes. If you actually love the series and you care about the characters, then those failure episodes are actually fun for you. I can't really say the same about Demon Slayer as I care about Jujutsu Kaisen. Like I definitely care more, way more about the interactions between like, for example, Toto. Like Toto and like Mei Mei playing ping pong was fucking sick. The random ass shopping episode with Yuji and the crew, right? The storm before the, the calm before the storm, like stuff like that for sure. Demon Slayer, eh, I don't really care too much about the characters. I'm just like, come on, when are we gonna start fighting? Didn't mind when they were hanging out in school and talking and bantering, especially, you know, and the first season, I felt like it was, I genuinely liked the banter. It felt a bit like, I don't know, it felt way more realistic than, I guess, Demon Slayer to some extent. Yeah, I mean, Demon Slayer, the big problem was- Realistic? Probably because Demon Slayer is set in like a different fucking era. Well, I don't know. GJK is like more modern setting. Who knows? Demon Slayer is that I oh, they have generally- a day trip to Harajuku. Like, mm -hmm. I generally don't really like the core cast no, of Demon Slayer no, as no, much no, as I no. do Jujutsu Kaisen, but that's not so much of just like the character development that they've they've gotten. It's more of yeah. just like, oh, uh, I just think Tanjiro is way too much of a goody two shoe good boy. Yeah, I don't mind um, Tanjiro. It's the it's just how I don't mind Tanjiro. Man's stuck in the most boring story of all time. <laughs> it's just like the I I like like let's get serious. Like you're kind of right, right? Like what what is this fucking story? Like you're trying to survive against demons, and the story then is then like kill Muzan, right? Let's get serious. Demon Slayer does one thing really well, and it's the hype fight scenes, right? Building up hype against the antagonist, introducing the upper six, the Hashiras, the power rankings, right? And then executing on good fights, absolutely. But is there a good story around it? It's all right. It's mid, right? That's not a bad thing. It's just like, they're not trying to focus on a good story. They're trying to focus on a good fucking fight and get the audience hyped up. 
the Sonic of that universe. It's just like, yeah, gotta go. Well, Sonic has more personality. That's fair and, and and like to me, Jujutsu Kaisen has always just been like a little bit edgier. You know, it's it's, it's like it's like when you um, mm. it always had a little bit of edge, but it kind of like dialed it up a lot this this season. Oh, it I definitely thought. it definitely mm. did. But, but that's, like that's why I made it so good because it was it was it had this kind of like happy go lucky vibe in the first season where like, oh, all the problems yeah. will always get fixed at the end of the day. Yeah, they fucking set us up, bro. Like JJK straight up, first season, everyone's happy, happy. Gojo Sensei's here, we're always gonna win. Season two, the incident happens and we're like, okay, people on our side can die too. I see, Gojo's gone, okay. All right, we're all fucked now. They buttered us up real nice for season two, man. Yeah, we got Gojo Sensei who fixes everything. Exactly. Guys, we'll try our best. Yeah, but that's the basic shonen formula. <laughs> yeah, but that's why I liked that they were willing to like throw Some that covered. all out. And yeah, even though they, right. they told you from the start, right? Mm -hmm. They were like, look, they're, they're, this yep. is this guy's fucking dangerous. We probably shouldn't keep this guy around. Yeah, and but like, like ah, we kept him around. But like in, in the same way, like for example, I don't really know what makes Yuji tick. Like Yuji? Tick? Yeah. I mean, he he seems <sighs> like a cool guy, he's but just I, only, he's just a. Uh, I heard. The author of JJK said recently, on Twitter maybe, that he doesn't like Yuji's character. That he's thinking, he's like, you know what? This main character I created, he's not it. I hear a lot of people kind of like complaining about how Itadori Yuji as a main character is really weak and they care about the characters all around. Like, the more I thought about it, it's just like, Yuji, he's definitely not my favorite character. He's all right. I'm just more hype when Skuna comes out. He's kind of weak. But then again, he needs more time to cook. After the incidents, now he's going to learn more and develop more as a character. I'm not sure. But right now in the anime, I'm like, eh, eh. I like grind. Like, like, <laughs> like oh when, when, when there was a moment in season two of Jesus Geisen when he went through this big, like he went through this big moment of just like he is just mm. suffering he's just bad having a bad day yeah what happened at that moment the incident happens bro wakes up to see a gigantic fucking hole in the middle of shibuya thousands of people probably dead and then you are my special that's right drop that fucking beat as he's having a mental breakdown hey, mm. i can't really get emotionally invested in it because i can obviously see oh there are bad things that are happening to him mm. he is suffering but i could not really empathize with that i'm like 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 i understand that he's having a mental breakdown because of the things that quote unquote he did because Kudos was acting upon his body and seeing the results but at no point was i like oh my god i feel so bad for you yuji oh could anyone think about this character please i was like come on pussy get up no time to fucking waste. Come on, let's go. You're the main character. It was like, well, I don't really, I, I, don't, I don't really know what kind of guy this person is to begin with. Mm -hmm. uh, all I know is cool kid. But I, I, I liked how we could see him changing through the fights. Like he was getting visibly more jagged and kind yeah. of mm. a little, a little more. Uh, those edges are being added to the the smooth ball that was once there. Yeah, I really yeah, I think that Edge maybe when he basically defeated Maito. And then there's like a cold, cold scene of like, I am you or something, right? That was one of the really good Yuji moments. I like that aspect of his character. Like, and you, you don't need that to be conveyed through 15 fucking flashbacks, which I'm tired of. No, you don't need, to, you don't need it to be conveyed through 15 fucking flashbacks. But I feel- <laughs> Thank you for quoting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel like, I feel like I barely really knew the character or mm. like any of the characters. In fact, my favorite arc, um, in Jujutsu Kaisen, from a storytelling perspective, was the Gojo Nanami. flashback arc. Okay. Oh, <laughs> the, the, so actual, the actual good. flashback. <laughs> yeah, so fucking good. Yeah. Basically, part one of season two. And yeah. Bro, that arc was sick because of Toji, bro. Toji literally was the perfect antagonist to bring out Gojo to his craziness. Having Ghetto's, like, monkey mentality, like, that was all good. For sure, it was great. That was the only time that, that felt more like a prologue than a flashback. Yeah, but that was the only time I've really felt like, oh, okay, I'm, uh, these are interesting characters with interesting motivations that changed during the course of that arc. And that was like one of the shortest arcs in Jujutsu Kaisen. So and yet easy. I went out of that arc feeling like I, I understood uh, I understood those characters more mm. than like the entirety of season one and like post like the Shibi arc in season mm. two. <laughs> well, yeah, because like season one, they don't try to like flesh out the core three, right? 
Megumi, fucking Nobara, yeah, Yuji. It's very shallow in terms of like how much we got to know them. But the flashback of like Gojo and Ghetto and, and like the whole thing there. There was a whole like philosophy of like, you know, do these monkeys deserve to even live or not, right? It, 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 of course, like season two, you know, a, a season two, like part one part is going to flesh out those characters and let us know more about the perspective of those characters compared to season one where it was very shallow. They're, they were never trying to do it. That's why it was shallow, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Yeah, it reminded me yeah. of that. Uh, I saw this image on Twitter that was like a, a guy falling asleep on like some kind of like telephone box, and he was yeah. posed like Gojo in the sky. <laughs> and then, <laughs> they, they some meme. It made me laugh so fucking much. Uh, yeah, God, that Basically arc was memes. so fucking good. Yeah, like to me, the problem with Jujutsu Kaisen uh, is that a lot of like the more interesting characters, to me at least are not the main cast members. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you have like, obviously Gojo, which, you know, e even before he had the fan base, um, like uh, to me, he was like, he, after the his flashback arc, to me, he did become one of the most interesting mm, characters. Right, right. Mm. Same with the villains as well. Um, obviously Toto as well. Um, yep, I love Toto. Like, you, know, you know, it's just unfortunate that- I love all the supporting side characters more than the main character himself. But this, but I have that opinion for pretty much every show. We, I, I, and like, I'm sure the author also doesn't want to just like show all the cool characters immediately, right? Because like the arc is still going, the manga is still going. We're, I don't even know plot wise, like how far we are in at the end of Shibuya Incident. But like, I'm sure he's saving that up for the future. It's, you know, a lot of the criticisms is that Jujutsu Kaisen is a lot of style over substance. Mm. And I, doesn't matter. Style over substance. What anime perfectly represents that anime? And it's an anime a series that uh, Jujutsu Kaisen took inspiration from. And that's Bleach, right? Bleach does not have a crazy plot. Hell no. It's pretty shallow. But it's so fucking cool. The aesthetics, the styles, bro. The Bankai, the Shikai, like the whole, everything about it is just so hype. I don't think style over substance really matters to me in terms of what creates like a better, like how much enjoyment you have, because like I value what is more entertaining, what's fun. And just because you have a lot of substance doesn't mean necessarily that style is the bad thing. But in this direct example of JJK versus Made in Abyss, the style of JJK does not override the substance of Made in Abyss for me. So still it's Made in Abyss over JJK for me. I so don't, get. Yeah, and I do, and not enough has been presented to me within the anime for me to go against the argument. It is very stylistic. It is so stylistic. Yeah. So cool. But I can't great. really I I I, I tried really, my best. Yeah. I tried my best. Yeah. Alright, Main Nabis goes through. Alright. Yep. Our audience is gonna be fucking losing their mind. And like this doesn't mean JJK is bad. No, Jujutsu Kaisen is an amazing battle shonen anime that I love. It's just that if you're going to compare Made in Abyss and JJK of the anime season that's out, like I'm going to go with Made in Abyss because the value system that I judge, which I think is entertainment or what's good, the dark story, the cruel hopelessness of Made in Abyss and how it made me feel throughout the whole season, that was something so special. And that is more memorable to me than JJK fights, even though I love JJK fights. <laughs> I just want to unravel. I'm not voting for Maiden Abyss. Okay. Anytime. I'm voting for Maiden I Abyss. Fuck's yeah. sake. All right, Gorilla Gun or Hunter Hunter? Fuck. Uh, this is Motherfucker. This video is called JJK vs. Made in the Abyss. Why are you talking about Grin Lagan or Hunter x Hunter right now? I, I haven't seen neither of those animes, and therefore I don't want to get spoiled. So this is where we're going to be ending the, <laughs> the reaction. Um, one, of those day, one of these days we can watch it, but let me know if you guys think that JJK is better in Made in the Abyss or Made in the Abyss is better in JJK, but I don't give a fuck. I think that Made in the Abyss is a little bit better in JJK, but that does not mean JJK is bad. JJK is like a solid minimum 8 out of 10.